questions. So having clarified that as real estate agents and consultants here on the screen, um, how has this uh, news of the scrapping of the NHR affected you? Veronica, I know you popped on immediately during one of our other shows to give your perspective with, with your friend from uh, Evera the other morning, which was fantastic, really good. What have you been thinking subsequently about this, uh, the impact and, the, and actually the, the real um, anxiety that it's been causing for people? Um, you know, I don't think we see a lot of it in America because it's really anyone who's got a higher wealth level and we don't have the same wealth tax and taxation that they have in Europe. So I think like anything, um, people can prepare before they come over here because we do have a dual taxation treaty, right? And you need to talk to your um, CPA in America, as well as your financial expert here to see what does and doesn't affect you because capital gains will be taxed here and put, and again, I'm not an expert, talk to your expert, but capital gains things, you need to sell your house there before becoming a resident here where some people want to come over and sell their house later. Um, you don't want those hits. Portugal does do some things, of course, if it's your primary residence, but then you have to look at OK, was that your primary residence here versus there? So you've got to talk to the experts and line everything up before you arrive. So you can still do that without NHR. There's annuities. There's all kinds of things that you can do without having these lump sums of money that are going to be cashed out or stocks or whatever it is that create a capital gains hit. Um, and then you're looking at wealth tax and inheritance tax, which Portugal is better than other countries. But in America, they don't typically have that unless you're a very high level. So every situation is so different. They've just, they've got to talk to their person, but for your average person that has the pension that's coming over here and just wants to live um, in a way that has a better lifestyle and live in Europe, it's still a great option and yeah. they're not going to get hit as much. So that was, that was the point the you made, States. wasn't it? Yeah, you were, all, you were straight on that. And it sounds like in the circles you move in, it hasn't caused the same sort of levels of anxiety as I'm hearing from some of the uh, professionals we work with here on the Good Morning Portugal show. And, and I think your, your advice there is excellent. Sagely, badass, miracle worker stuff um, to make sure you get the professional advice um, before um, the, the implications and consequences are, too, are felt too harshly. So, yeah, really good advice to talk to the right professionals uh, as early on in the process as possible. What about you, Carl? Well, I mean, obviously, I agree with what, um, what Veronica is saying there. First of all, make sure you're planning. Even with NHR, you know, you still have to make sure you're taking all the boxes and, and doing everything correctly. It still required planning. It wasn't just a case of rock up here and sort of pay no or low taxes. Yeah. Um, you know, so definitely plan. But, I mean, from, from my point of view, dealing with clients on a day-to-day -day basis, clients and even, you know, friends that, that I've made since, uh, since I've been working in real estate, um, some some have said you know without the NHR I, I I wouldn't be here you know that was that was one of the main drivers of me coming here um, and there are others that have said you know the opposite that it, it wasn't a major factor in what they did so uh, you know from from that respect I think it will stop a few people coming here it, it, you know but overall it's still a very attractive uh, a very attractive place uh, to live and on a short term basis I'm getting a lot more inquiries now people sort of panicking which is it's not good. You know, they're sort of like, I need to get there before the end of the year. Can you find me a rental? I, you know, I want to complete on this. I want to do this. And I, that's not good because when you start rushing things, you make mistakes and you yeah. and don't know exactly how it will how it will play out um, and what the rules will be exactly. So, um, yeah, a little bit of caution. Th things are going to change. That's, that's evident. Um, but uh, do your research. Speak with the professionals in whatever country you're coming from, from the US, from the UK, and then find find a professional here that, that knows what they're talking about uh, and, and, and make the right decisions. Otherwise, it could be very costly, you know. But, uh, yeah, things are going to change. It's just how it is. They are, they are, they are changing, aren't they? And of course, they were always going to. You know, the, the NHR was only a ten-year uh, plan anyway scheme for people, and it was always going to end for, for individuals uh, ultimately. But that's been brought forward, and um, not something that's going to be available to people, generally speaking, and quite soon, um, it would appear. So, thank you very much for your insight, both of you, on that. Go on, Veronica. When you talk about that, and you said that people came, and it was a limited plan anyway, so they came over knowing they only had ten years of NHR yep. and yep. then they stayed. So when you look at the statistics at how many people stay, oh, I need to shoot you that graphic, at how many people stayed, 
even after the NHR was up, it gave them that time to plan. So you can still plan in advance before you get here. Do your tax planning and, and set yourself up properly with the right. right experts, again, not with me, with the right tax expert. And um, while some people did you know, use that for 10 years and then move away, it still gave you time to maybe take a chunk of money um, out of somewhere else and then put it into maybe rehabbing or investing in your life here. And that's money coming in, right? That's a lot of investment has been done here with that. So hopefully that still continues um, into Portugal and it doesn't affect Portugal, but that people are able to just do the planning of how they're going to do that before they get their residency here.